Hi, it's me, Ali, and in this tutorial, we'll perform an embodied energy simulation on our neighborhood. To begin, I've already opened Rhino. I'm going to click on the UMI icon to open the project from last time, which we called Operational Energy. Once the file has loaded, you can see that it's the same model as we've been working on before. I'm going to click on the UMI icon again and select Save Project As, and this time we're going to name it Embodied Energy. And now we're ready to move on. Click on the Project tab, and the settings will remain the default that we've been working on with before. Under the Building Settings tab, if you click on a building, you're going to see that it has the temp same template as before. The buildings are assigned the same template, and this, is, this continues on into the simulation. Next, we go to the Simulate tab, and we're going to select Lifecycle. Click Run All, and wait for the quick simulation to finish. Once the, the simulation is finished, you can see the results for both embodied energy and ca embodied carbon for each building by clicking on it. The two indicators can be switched just like this. You can also change what results you see, normalized versus total, as before, and embodied energy and embodied carbon for both the total building and the facades or and or the facades and glazing. You can see a big difference between the buildings with light and heavy construction, or lighter and heavier construction, in the color gradient that we see here. Red being much heavier construction and the blue being lighter construction. Modifications to the con to the construction of the buildings, as well as the material as well as your overall building design, this is important, this factors into it as well, will greatly affect your embodied energy and your embodied carbon use. The design process here is complicated, as you have to balance the optimum operational energy use with a good embodied energy and carbon use. This can get very complicated depending on your climate. However, using an iterative design process and with UMI to test, for, uh, to test and run simulations, you know, this will help you arrive at an ideal balance between operational energy and embodied energy. Now we can click File Save and close the Rhino. In the next tutorial, we'll perform the final simulation, Mobility.